Today's Inktober prompt is legend. For those who have been following me since the beginning of this channel, you'll know that I started my channel making portraits. I love making pencil sketches, especially when it comes to making people's faces. Starting from quick sketches to detailed ones, portraits are my thing. But I don't want to limit myself to pencil sketches and portraits. And what's better than Inktober for regularity and creative boost? Although I'm struggling a bit to cope with it, but it's fun. And then, amongst all the hardship of Inktober, came the prompt legend. And finally, a prompt where I thought of drawing a person. A legend, literally. I can actually make a sketch of a real person, something which I've always loved to do and I'm very comfortable with. Now, there are so many legends. Who to pick? Took my time and finally settled with Bruce Lee. And what's better than one sketch? Two sketches. So here's two sketches of the legend Bruce Lee. Keep watching till the end. You'll get to know a lot about him. Not only is he a real legend in the field of martial art, but also renowned all across the world. Lee Jun Fan, known professionally as Bruce Lee, was a Hong Kong American actor, director, martial artist, martial art instructor, and a philosopher. He was the founder of Jeet Kune Do, a hybrid martial art philosophy drawing from different combat disciplines that is often credited with paving the way for modern mixed martial arts. He is considered by commentators, critics, media and other martial artists to be the most influential martial artist of all time and a pop culture icon of the 20th century who bridged the gap between East and West. He is often credited with helping to change the way Asians were presented in American films. Although just 5 feet 8 inches in height, it was believed that he could defeat literally any man in a fight. Till date, many martial artists consider Bruce Lee to be their god. Bruce Jun Fan Lee was born in the Hour of Dragon, between 6 and 8 a.m. in the Year of the Dragon on November 27, 1940, at the Jackson Street Hospital in San Francisco's Chinatown. Bruce was a fourth born. He had two older sisters, Phoebe and Agnes, an older brother, Peter, and a younger brother, Robert. Bruce's parents gave him the name Jun Fan. The English name Bruce was given to the baby boy by a nurse in the Jackson Street Hospital, although he was never to use this name until he entered the secondary school and began to study in English. At the age of three months, Lee, his wife Grace and baby Bruce returned to Hong Kong where Bruce would be raised until the age of 18. At the age of 13, Bruce was introduced to Master Yip, a teacher of Wing Chun. For five years, Bruce studied diligently and became very proficient. He greatly revered Yip Man as a master teacher and a wise man and frequently visited him in later years. In high school, one of Bruce's accomplishments was winning the International Boxing Championship against an English student and no kicking was allowed. Bruce was also a terrific dancer and in 1958, he won the Hong Kong Cha Cha Championship. He studied dancing, keeping a notebook in which he noted 108 different Cha Cha steps. Bruce was also a child actor. Bruce had a streak showmanship. By the time he was 18, he appeared in 20 films. At the age of 18, Bruce was looking for new vistas in his life. As for his parents, who were discouraged that Bruce had gotten into some trouble fighting and had not made progress academically. On the April of 1959, with $100 in his pocket, Bruce boarded the steamship in American President's Line and began his voyage to San Francisco. Bruce did not stay long there, but travelled to Seattle where his family friend Ruby Chow had a restaurant and had promised Bruce a job and living quarters. By now, Bruce had left his acting and dancing passions behind and was intent on furthering his education. He enrolled at Edison Technical School where he fulfilled his requirement for the equivalent of high school graduation and then enrolled at the University of Washington. At that university, Bruce majored in philosophy. His passion for Kung Fu inspired a desire to delve into philosophical underpinnings and many of his written essays during those years would relate to philosophical principles to certain martial art techniques. 
In the three years that Bruce studied at the university, he supported himself by teaching Kung Fu, having by the time given up the work in the restaurant, stuffing newspaper or various other odd jobs. The small circle of friends that Bruce was teaching encouraged him to open a real school of Kung Fu and charge a nominal sum for teaching in order to support himself while attending school. One of his students in 1963 was a freshman at University of Washington, Linda Merley. Linda knew who Bruce was from his guest lectures in Chinese philosophy at the Garfield High School, where she was a student and in summer after graduating, Lin started taking Kung Fu lessons. Bruce and Linda were married in 1964. By the time Bruce had decided to make a career out of teaching, leaving his Seattle school in the hands of a friend, Bruce and Linda moved to Oakland where Bruce opened his second school with James Lee. The years between 1967 and 70 were were lean years for Lee family. Bruce worked hard at furthering his acting career and did get some roles in few TV series and films. To support the family, Bruce taught private lessons in Jeet Kune Do often to the people in entertainment industry some of his clients included Steve McQueen James Coburn James Garner Kareem Abdul Jabbar and others during this time Bruce continued the process he started in Oakland in 1964 the evolution of his way of martial art which he called Jeet Kune Do the way of the first intercepting fist Bruce was devoted to physical culture and trained devotedly. It was actually his zealousness that led to an injury that had become a chronic source of pain for the rest of his life. In the fall of 1972, Bruce began filming The Game of Death, a story he envisioned. The filming was interrupted and was put on hold to make way for filming Enter the Dragon. Enter the Dragon was due to premiere at Hollywood's Chinese Theater in 1973. Unfortunately, Bruce did not live to see the opening of this film. On July 20th, 1973, Bruce had minor headache and he was offered a prescription painkiller. After taking the pill, he went to lie down and lapsed into coma. He was unable to be revived. Extensive forensic pathology was done to determine the cause of death, which was not immediately apparent. A 9-day coroner's inquest was held. with testimony given by the renowned pathologist flown in from around the world the determination was that bruce had hypersensitive reaction to the ingredient in the pain medication that caused swelling in the fluid of her brain resulting in coma and death the world lost a brilliant star and an evolved human being that day his spirit remained an inspiration to untold number of people around the world Ever after all these years he still remains immortal among our heart. Bruce Lee is indeed a true legend. I hope you felt this worth the time. Thank you so much for watching. Keep supporting and I'll see you again with the next prompt. Until then, bye.